Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing something different, introducing myself to new types of beefs and different cuts of steaks. So if you ever go to a restaurant and don't know which cut of beef to go for, well I'm going to be sharing with you my recommendations, starting today with dry aged rump steak matured for 36 days. Step 1. First, find a clean surface to season your meat. Lightly season with some salt and pepper, don't be too gentle. I would recommend to use sea salt or pink Himalayan salt which will add better flavour. Add your empty pan to the cooker. When you start to see it smoking, then add a touch of oil, not too much. Next, add your steak to the pan and make sure to lay away from you so that you don't burn yourself. Today I made two steaks. The first steak was well done and the second steak was medium well. To cook a well done steak, leave on the pan for at least one minute on each side. And to cook a medium well steak, leave for at least 45 seconds. Next, flip the steak and wait for the steak to sear. When it looks done, add a knob of butter. You can also add garlic and thyme for flavour. If you would like to, you can also add rosemary. When all the butter has melted, tilt the pan towards you so that the butter pulls on one side and use a large spoon to continuously baste the steak. Basting means that you pour the butter on top of the steak. It gives it a nice flavour and stops the steak from getting dry. Once your butter has started to caramelise, take the steak off the pan and let it sit for at least 2-5 to five minutes. This is important due to cutting your steak too early you can dry the steak out. Finally, once the steak has rested, if you would like to garnish the steak, you can sprinkle some thyme sprigs or some bell peppers on if you would like to. Time to cook the next steak. This time I am going to be repeating the same steps we have just done, but I will be cooking the steak for a short amount of time on each side. 